Hey guys, welcome back to Salesforce Made Simple. In today's video, we're going to discuss how to use the Salesforce Flow Builder to get related records in Salesforce. And so this comes up pretty commonly if you're working with something like an account object and you need to query uh, related opportunities, for example. But the principles behind the getting related records is the same no matter what objects you're working with. So the challenge that we're going to go over is how to look up any related Salesforce record and this will allow you to query the database for any record that you can think of. So I'm going to open up uh, Salesforce here and I already have a flow built and so this is a screen flow and it's very simple um, it's going to look up an account then look up opportunities related to that account and then it's going to show them on the screen in a very simple table. So in order to understand this, you're going to have to understand how to uh, get records and then how we might um, specify which records we're finding with a screen flow. So take a look over here on the left and look at this variables um, section of the manager and you'll see that I have an account ID variable. And this is important because I have created this variable and set it available for input so that when we kick this screen off or when we run the debug, I can pass in an account ID to the flow and then have the flow go and look up that account. And I'll show you what that looks like here. So that entire operation lives here in this get records element. So I started off uh, by looking for an account. So you always have to specify the object. And here we're looking up an account. When you are getting records, you can also filter and it's really common to filter um, in many different ways. But here we have a very, very specific filter where the ID of the account must equal the same ID that our account variable equals. And so that way, when we pass in an ID into the flow, it's going to look up the exact account that we're specifying. If we wanted a more broad set of filters, you know, if we just wanted like any account with perhaps an annual revenue of, you know, greater than $100,000, that's something that we could do. Um, but in this case, we want to look up a very specific account so that we can find all of the related opportunities to that account. Down at the bottom here, we can decide how many records to store. And we are just going to store the first account that we find. Typically, there will only be one account. And so um, whenever you're doing a very uh, concise filtering like this, when you're just looking for the ID, Storing the first record by itself is fine. And then I always select automatically store all fields. You can get advanced, but that's kind of beyond the scope of this video. So now that we've looked up an account, let me show you how it works when we press debug. So I can press the debug, and because we set up that variable to be available for input, the flow is going to ask me what that ID is. And you can see that right here. So we have the account ID being requested. And in order for this to run, we have to give it an account ID. So let me open up one of the sample accounts in the developer environment here. And I'm just going to pull the ID out of the URL. You can always get the ID of a record by pulling it from the URL. And by copying this to my clipboard, I can go back to my screen and I can paste that ID there. And so now when the flow kicks off, that first get records element is going to look for an account whose ID equals this. So it would clearly go and find this United Oil and Gas uh, account. So let's press Run. And you see a couple things happened over here on the right in the debug details. So our first get records fired. And we were looking for an account. And the filter we said were find all account records where the ID equals our ID. Nothing new there. We kind of went over that. Um, so great, the result is that we successfully found the records. Now that we have this account, we can reference any field on the account to go and find any other records in the database. And that's what we did in our second get records here. So we haven't discussed this on the canvas, so let's jump back there. But you can see after we got our account record here, the flow continued to the next step, which was to get the opportunities. And if I open this up, you can see that we were filtering for opportunity, um, the opportunity object. And the filter that we used was to look for opportunities where the field on the opportunity, the account ID field, equaled 
the uh, ID of the account that we first looked up. And so that's the key point about looking up related records in Salesforce. You always have to know how your two objects are connected. So here, opportunities are related to accounts through that account ID field. Uh, very similarly, contacts are related to accounts through the account ID field. So I mean, we could have even changed this object to be uh, contact. And I mean, it would essentially be exactly the same, right? Where we're looking up all of the contacts where the account ID equals the uh, account that we just got in our previous get records element. I'm just going to cancel so that none of those changes are saved so we can review the rest of the, the opportunities. Now, because we want multiple opportunities, instead of storing just one record, we opted to store all the records. Now, you don't have to do that. Um, my presumption is that if you're looking for multiple related records, you would want to store all of them. And again, you can elect to store all the fields. And so just think about that. Whenever you need to find related records, try to understand how the related records or what field um, connects those related records to the object you're currently working with. And then you can use something like the account ID, uh, like a lookup relationship or a master detail relationship to go and uh, query the related records. So I'm gonna press done here. And I want to bring your attention to two other things. So you'll see here in the resources section, we have a record single variable and a record collection variable. And so what Salesforce does when you use the get records element is it creates a variable that represents the data you found with the data element. So by using this get records and by storing all the fields with uh, this bottom option, Salesforce then goes and creates a single record variable that you can reference elsewhere in your flow. And we did that here. So we had our single variable that stored every field from the, the account that we found. And we actually use that here in our value to look up. So you can see that the syntax here is get account dot ID. So this is referencing that record variable that the first uh, data element created. And then again, um, when we looked up multiple opportunities, it stored them in a collection. So the difference between a collection and a single variable is that one is single <laughs> and one is multiple. So that's kind of the key difference. Uh, the collection just has multiple records. That's, that's the only you know, thing that you need to remember. And then what we can do with a collection is, for example, in our screen. I've installed a custom uh, data table component here. But if you uh, will look over here on the right in the configuration, I'm still referencing that standard uh, collection object, the get opportunities. And if I hover over this, you can see that the data table will run when a record collection variable, i.e. the collection that we created with the get opportunities data element, um, contains the, the records that we're looking for. And we can show that um, here by just linking the collection. So let's go back to our screen and we'll just, we'll just walk through it again. So the interview, which is the screen flow, kicks off. We look for one account where the ID equals the account ID that we passed in at the start of our flow. We successfully find that record. We then go to our next data element where we're looking up all of the opportunity records that are related to that account. And then we store all of them in a collection. And then you don't see it here, but once we successfully find these records, uh, the screen pops up and our custom data table component here uh, shows every single opportunity. And you can see that they're all related to that original account. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment and let me know what other flow videos you want to see. And uh, I hope you have a great day. Hey guys, hope you found that helpful. Let me know in the comments what other flow videos you'd like to see. And make sure to like and subscribe because it really helps out the channel. If you're interested in learning more about Salesforce Flows, make sure to check out my course on Udemy. There's a link in the description. It has over eight hours of in-depth Salesforce Flow tutorials designed to turn you into a Flow Ninja. With that said, have a great day.